using right now, um, I'm using the ham steak. I'm start getting um, the ham, which is the leg, and I'm breaking that down into schnitzel. So I break that down, carve down all the scrap meat off of that. We grind here at, in the house. We make um, our chorizo. We also make our meatballs. Um, and then our fancy cut is our tomahawk. Every week I'm upping my tomahawks. And we do a simple way with the tomahawk. I mean, not simple, but I think it's kind of unique and it's simplistic is the correct word I'm trying to find. Is I cider brine with an organic cider for 24 hours. Um, whatever spices or seasons I have, because we make our own pantry here from the garden, so whatever seasonal will be um, infused into the apple cider with the pork. We pull it out 24 hours, we let it drain, kind of air dry and get kind of pressed on it. Then it has this sugar quality, so it crystallizes or caramelizes really fast when we put it on the grill. We finish it with cedar plank. So you have this beautiful um, sweetness and caramelization that's taking place, and then you have this cedar smoke balancing out so it's not rough on the palate or, or too abrasive. And it makes like this bacon mouthfeel and aroma along the caramelization of the fat cap. And it's just amazing. We sell it all the time medium. Nobody wants it past medium. I even have people come in for rare. I mean, when you get quality pork, you can sell it and eat it rare. Well, you know, people come in here and say, oh, it's the best pork I ever had. And I smile, I go, it, the credit doesn't go to me. I just, I just fixed it up a little. I mean, the love that went into it is more to a shiny. I'm just a chef that gets to actually showcase what the farmer and the ranchers and the fishermen really put their passion into. So tomahawk cooking at home. I mean, the meat speaks for itself, so you really can't go wrong grilling it, using your favorite cast iron skillet, searing it up, maybe even finishing it. You could bake it with like, if you have apple butter, put apple butter on the top, layer it with bacon, put it in the oven and roast it. I mean, it's endless. You can, it's bulletproof. I mean, when you have quality product, and that's what we're talking about, is sourcing local to wherever you are living, buying local, getting to know people and having that quality product to work with. I have people offering me to use their pork. And would I have the opportunity to say is no, I'm not going to, I already have the best pork. 